Hello everyone. So today we're going to talk about these three topics: exchange rate, arbitrage, and law of one price. Um, exchange rate would probably be more familiar to you guys uh, compared to arbitrage and law of one price, is because if you've traveled before or you have purchased something from a foreign country, you have participated in the exchange rate. Um, to make it more brief, what is an exchange rate? Is this basically my currency? Let's say I'm using U.S. dollar. All right, and let's say I'm changing it to euros. All right, is this how much a dollar in US can get me in euro? So, for example, the exchange rate is 0 0.89. So, for every US dollar, I'll get 89 cents of euro. So, let's say I'm going to Europe for my vacation, uh, and that would mean let's say I'm changing a thousand US dollar to euro, and I will just multiply it with this exchange rate. And that will give me about 890 euro. Okay? And it is just vice versa. You can do the same thing. 890 euro. You divide it instead of multiplying it. You're dividing it by 0 0.89. And you will still get 1,000 US dollar. So it works vice versa. So anytime when you're going, you're going on your next vacation, you can do the same method. And you would know how much of the currency you will get. On the different country and moving on to arbitrage what that is is pretty simple it's just basically buying low and selling high for example if we have a market in China and a market in the United States and let's say the product or the item that I want to buy in China cost me two dollars okay so two dollars to buy in China and for me to buy the item in the US it will cost me about five dollars so wouldn't I want wouldn't you want to buy the item in China and sell it in the United States and you can make the profit in between, which is $3. And if you continuously doing, continuously doing that, you will actually make a huge profit. And that's just basically arbitrage. It's pretty simple. And usually arbitrage ties in with law of one price. And what does that mean is that, let's say the item that I want to buy in China is, let's say it's a burger. Okay, and let's draw our demand and supply curve. Let's say the burger in China costs two dollars, okay, and the burger in the United States costs five dollars. Because I want to buy the burger in China and sell it in the United States, that will actually increase the demand of burgers in China, right? Pushing the equilibrium up and pushing the price up at the same time, right? And when I sell it in the United States, because I bought so much, there has been an increase in supply in the US. So it would actually increase the supply by moving the curve towards the right. And that would actually decrease the price as well because of the increasing supply. And we would mark it at the same price as the equilibrium as well. And the law of one price is when you keep doing the same thing and you will see the same prices will be met. And that is the one price that all of us settles in. So when that eventually happens, then you cannot make profit in between of those two products. And you will come to a conclusion of the law of one price. So that's all for today. Thank you.